all of you beautiful people of the internet. This is the second episode of whatever this is. So, this is being recorded and probably uploaded Thursday, June 10th. I know my last episode was on Wednesday and I planned to do them on Wednesdays. It's just today was my last day of school and I had to get up at 5.30 to decorate my avid teacher's room who is leaving and not joining us my senior year. So I didn't quite want to go over exhaust myself because I also had some work I had to do. So I just decided, you know what, I'll do it today. It'll be my last day of school and then I'll continue to be on Wednesdays. After this week, unless, except for maybe the week of 4th of July, it just kind of depends on the whole vacation situation. But, well, <laughs> so... As usual, I say as usual as if I had like 20 episodes, but I'm going to be doing another fun fact about me, and <clears throat> the fun fact about me is that I have a dog. His, his name is Tucker. He's a Great Pyrenees Golden Retriever mix, so he's generous. He actually did this to me. Um, yeah, he's turning three? Yeah, he's turning three. August 1st, so still very much so a puppy who does not realize he is like 90 pounds, so there's some fun times with that, but other than that, I had my sister's bridal shower over the weekend, it was 90 degrees, and I was in a long black jersey and long black pants, and we were outside the whole time, so it was hot, and not, I mean, it was fun, and I like being there, but, like, the heat wasn't fun, and I like, and I like the heat. So, on to <clears throat> crafty related stuff. So, um, I don't have any new finished objects, because I don't. And then, I still have that one thing, the gray one that's back here, that I, the, uh, we're on a web smell, of course that I need to frog to, but I'm still deciding what I want to do with that. And my, if you guys were, if you guys watched last week's, you saw a little bit of the aqua top I was making. This is what I have. I know the ends are curling in. I have to block it. Um, this is what I have. I'm about five-ish inches from being done because you know it does stretch so I want to account for that stretchiness um but yeah we're only a few inches done so I'm hoping to finish this by well finish like the body part by Saturday or Sunday I might be able to squeeze into this now I just don't want to test it so I'm gonna do a couple more inches and it, it's so soft. I love this yarn so much. Again, this is the Eco Bright. This is using the Eco Brights by Loops and Threads, which is 100% recycled polyester. So soft, so amazing. It's this is in stuck. This is in the stuck and eddy stitch. Um, yeah. This is how much of the little bowl bowl English ball I have left. I I almost just quit this because. I, I'll, I'll show you later what it comes like, but it was starting to get so knotted, so I decided to wind it into a little cake, and I had to cut the yarn, like, five times and make knots just because it would not come undone, but I got it eventually, and now we're working with this little wee thing. I'm hoping that this is enough to finish, like, the body part of the top. And then I can use my other ball, which is um, somewhere, <laughs> for the straps. And I haven't decided if I'm going to do um, knitting ribs or if I'm going to crochet them. I don't know. I'm, I, I think I'm leaning more towards crocheting just because it's faster and I'm more comfortable with it. But then again, I'm also let I'm also more comfortable with it, and like I kind of wanna test and push myself and stuff. 
why did I just slur that? Okay. But, yeah, other than that, it's coming along great. Hoping to finish it by Sunday-ish, um, in a perfect world. So there's that. And I haven't officially started anything new. But on to stuff that I have bought for myself because, um, hold up. I have a problem. So <laughs> I got another color of the Eco Brights. Um, this one is light pink, fitting name. I love this because, so I went to Michael's by where my sister lives, and I found this one yarn, you guys might have seen it like on TikTok, or I don't know if there's YouTube videos about it, there probably is, and that's my air conditioner starting, sorry, and um, it's like the color changing yarn that changes like when it's just with the sun, and I wanted to wait till there's a little bit more reviews on it, but then I found this, and the Michael's by me was sold out of this color and I really because when I saw this online I really wanted the light pink because uh, I tend to go for like I tend to immediately go for like tealy colors because like I hate my favorite color is a very specific shade of aqua so I like lean more towards like the blue green area and I wanted to do something that was like not that so I wanted to do this color but my Michaels didn't have it in stock for like two weeks so I managed to snap two things I don't even know what these are called sorry of them and I don't think I told you this last time but this is for a limited time only I don't know what that limited time is um I don't like how it doesn't tell you like when the limited time is over but that's just me so it is 255 yards which is 236 meters and 150 grams so I got two of those. Ooh, that hurt. <laughs> um, I, all of the other, I ordered some stuff online. One of the, we'll just, I'll explain as I go. So I got a tension ring because I don't know if you guys can see in here, but my tension is not that great. Although to be fair, I did just start picking up it, like pick, pick, blah, picking it up again, but like, it's not, it's not the best. It's not the worst but it's not it could be better and so I'm hoping that the tension rings allow me to keep a consistent tension so I also don't like especially when I'm purling I tend to like the yarn tends to come off my finger a lot so I'm hoping the ring helps with that and can kind of speed things up and I got three of those the day I ordered them off Amazon of course because Amazon's amazing and so the date I like I think it gave me like June, tw like June 25th to July 28th, so no clue. And then another thing I've come tomorrow is I have the Chagu size 1 32 inch red lace circulars coming in. I was going to get the 9 inch circular, but the pattern I'm using requires the 32 inch to do the toe so I just figured I'll do the 32 inch and I don't know if I give it away but I want to try to make socks because I I love so I love socks I have an obsession with socks like I wear these on the, I wore Christmas socks on the last day of school because I just love socks also no the only matching pair but, fine. but like my sock drawers like right here I literally have Power Ranger socks I got these at Vegas I'm terrified of opening them but I have them they are there they are in my sock drawer and if anybody like anybody who like knows me like my mom's boss or any family member even some of my teachers if they see like ugly socks they buy them and give them to me because they know I'll love them so don't tell me that although it's gonna be a little bit weird so I didn't want to buy new yarn because um, I am poor, and also, I don't, I didn't want to spend, like, I want to, if I like them, I'll try, like, 
a hand dyed thing of yarn just because I do love supporting other small businesses but I am a 16 year old student who does not currently have a job although I might be getting one over the summer so if I go on over summer it'll be a little bit different with buying from them but as of right now spending $30 on yarn is not something I can do a lot <laughs> although on I, forget, I think it was nitpicks they do have just like plain undyed like hanks and they're like eight nine bucks which is still on the expensive side but I also tend to just buy things on sale so that's expensive for me but like these full price are $7.99 I just never pay full price um because Michaels and Joann's always has coupons for everything so I am okay with spending that much on like because that much on yarn because with um like the yarn like this 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 is like this is 10 bucks for one of these and so I'm okay with spending more money on them I just was raised by my mother and like to get things as cheap as possible so the yarn I'm using is thicker than what is recommended so I plan to I want the size medium but I'm planning to make the size small and because the yarn is like a size thicker it, so the yarn calls for three and a half millimeter needles and I'm going down two whole sizes so no one whole size so I'm gonna make this small and hope that because my gauge will be a little bit big it'll fit like the medium and if it doesn't fit like the medium but I love them and I love making socks one I'll keep them no matter what I always keep like the first of something I make just as like a thing like the only time I really didn't was with the rainbow bags but that's because it wasn't my first time making one of those bags like this this is my second time but this was my favorite time and my first time it <laughs> still does not have ends woven in so but like the very first time I try out a pattern I always keep that one just because it's I don't want to say the worst but like it's not I'm not gonna be as comfortable with the pattern and stuff like that but anyways the yarn I uh -huh. that's that's okay anyways sorry the yarn I'm using is loops and threads wow have a thing for loops and threads wellness baby and this is more than enough yarn to make two socks considering how 100 gram pink is enough to make two socks and this is this came in a 250 gram fall and I barely used any of it since I got it so I, I'm more than okay um I assume you can get this at Michael and this is in the color light pink which kind of getting blown out but it is a light pink um it's this is a darker light pink than what this is but this is like light light pink um this is what I consider just like pink but I didn't name them so anyways but the needles are coming tomorrow and so I also bought X when we got two because I bought the wrong one the first time but I don't really care they were two bucks I bought the crazy sock ladies vanilla sock pattern I bought them both on nine inch circulars and 32 inch circulars because I originally was gonna get the nine inch circulars but then I saw that you get close up the toe and like do the toe on 32 inch circulars so because when you're on 32 inch circulars you use the magic loop and so I just decided to give the 32 inch circulars so I don't have to pay $20 so I only have to pay 11 which is still a lot but I'll do it and if I hate it I can sell them so that's all of like my new stuff I'm second I'm gonna really put some of these back just so I don't lose them because I'm not the most organized of people and this is just gonna be here for a second what else? So, uh, thing, there are some things I want to make. Obviously, I, I'm hoping for a pair, but realistically, very well might only be one sock. Um, I want to do that. And I, f I feel like, I'm going to go back to this for a second. I feel like it's going to be a little bit, I don't want to say easier, but because 
technically speaking, I have turned heels before. I, back in the day, I think they're still for sale in my Etsy shop, I'm unsure. I used to make these little baby booties, and you would do the turning of the heel, but for the foot, and then you would sew the back. Let me really quickly see if I can, ooh, that hurt. Let me really quickly see if I can find them to kind of explain it better. Okay, I am back. I found a pair. Like here. I don't really know how to hold these because they're like weird. <laughs> but here they are. This little part comes up and you can hold it up. I don't, again, I don't know if these are for sale in my Etsy shop still or not. I think they are. But I made these when I first started knitting. Like, but almost a year ago that's insane <laughs> but like yeah you can see here because i think the seam is here so this is like where the heel is i don't know if you can i don't know if you guys can see but there's like a seam from where i sewed it up and then the toe is worked like a heel so like, this would be the heel flap right here, and then you have, like, where you picked up stitches, and then the gusset. Um, so I know how to do them. I don't want to do them purling, but it's the same. I, like, I know how to purl, so it'll be fine. So the technique will be, there'll be less of a learning curve with the technique compared to most people who have who are just starting out with socks because they haven't had experience turning heels also. I feel like these look like little Donald Duck feet. Like is it just me? Is it just my Disney indoctrination indoctrination? English? <laughs> like is this based on Spice and Disney family or these do these look like Donald Duck's feet? I think they do. I used to, like when I first made these I kind of wanted to make like a little diaper cover. I was like Donald Duck's like pants and make like a Donald Duck set, but then I didn't. I might have to do that now because I found these and they're so adorable. So so adorable and so little. Oh, they're so cute. I don't remember whose pattern this is. Also, I will have the yarn linked in the description in case you guys want to buy it. I will recommend both of them. Hold up, let me, let me, let me touch this yarn to get up. They're both soft. This, the Eco Bright is 100% recycled polyester, as I told you. And this one, where is it? It's somewhere here. Hmm. I was literally just looking at it, and I don't remember, I was thinking, oh, that's weird. How did this dis- oh, it's 70% acrylic, 30% Ami Core acrylic? I don't know, it's M-A-M-I-C-O-R. So if anybody wants to tell me what that means, please do. Um, so, yeah, so I want to do those. I still want, and then I want to make another of the shirts, obviously, just in this color, but, which is easy, because I'm just- knitting a strip so it's not challenging and I still kind of want to try another like skirt or pants or something like that oh one second okay my phone did something I don't know but we're almost done anyways I don't have any new sales this week my Etsy shop Instagram and all of that stuff will also be linked in the description in case y'all want to visit it i will also put my link tree if you guys also want to for some reason visit there instead of just going directly to them i will do that i'll try to do the link tree i might forget but yeah that is all for this episode i don't really know this is almost 20 minutes so i wow i've been talking for 20 minutes oops <laughs> so i don't really know like how long this is in relation to the last episode i think it's a little bit shorter but yeah so that's all for this episode i hope to see you guys again next week i promise to try to upload on wednesday if something goes wrong i will tell y'all of course and 
yeah i please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below still looking for more marvel and american horror story fans um yeah so have a good week i will see you guys next week bye